gonna let us cross that border, trying to give us that problems, but you know God works. Say the prayers and he will answer. Rush out and go play right away. Just no saying that I do it a day before, you know? Everything in our society is kind of like production oriented. You know, that's what your guys' scholarship is. You know, your production. You know, and so everything revolves around that. So, Porto, everybody wants to stay old. You know, and so, you know, when you guys now have coaching staffs that are really interested in you, or you have coaching staffs that are really invested in you, especially your relationships that Coach Rowe has, you know, it's something that you guys really want to consider, you know, as soon as you can. Uh, because it moves really, really fast. And so if you guys, you know, have opportunities to play at the next level, whatever level it is, you know, Coach Joe will tell you everybody can go D1. You know, sometimes, you know, God has another plan for you. It might be through junior college, you know, it might be through D2. You know, whatever it is, at the end of the day, it's all about production. You know, and that's what you want to work on your game every day, you know, and expand. So if you do get some opportunities, it's all around that P word, production. So our head coach been at Michigan State for 19 years, you know, so he was used to a lot of winning, you know, and the uh, number one most important thing for him is you got to have good character people before you win, right. you know, so you want to take care of your books, you know, you want to take care, you, know, you want to be coachable, you know, you want to have a high work ethic because your coaches tell you that all the time, but it's true, you know, because you only have 13 scholarships, you know, and so you got to use those scholarships wisely. Question. So our day right now starts at 7 a.m. with our lift, mm -hmm. you know, so we go 7 to 8, we lift, our recovery right now is they got to get a meal in, they got to get a shake in, they got to get a certain type of stretching. And we have fueling stations across the campus, you know, set up for these guys, and throughout the week those guys are lights out by 10 p.m. You know, so it's a very, very full day, um, but the guys that are serious, because chances are if you make it to this level, you have aspirations to play pro. You know, everybody can't play in the NBA, but that doesn't mean that those opportunities are limited. You know, you go overseas, Canada's a great league now, seeing all game shots, what do you get to see in a game? You know, so the off season, you work on your weaknesses while sharpening your strengths. In season, you're pretty much just touching up exactly what you can see in the game. You know, so that's a great question. You know, but one thing that I want you guys all to think about too for the rest of your pathetic career is, the skill stuff is great, but don't let your non-skill stuff ever be a factor, you know. Coach Roy, you think motor's, more of a skill, having a motor, you think that's a skill in your mind? Nowadays it is. Yes. Back yeah. in the day, it was, it was natural. Sure. We guys don't have it all the time. Yeah. Even listening's a skill. Listening's a skill. Oh. You know what I mean? All these kind of things are skills now. <laughs> exactly. You know, be a teammate, you know, trying your best to hit, have a motor, you know, being a great listener, you know, uh, having a positive attitude. You know, you could be a dog on the court, but still be a positive, have a positive attitude. Yeah. All those, a lot of those things are a decision. You know, how hard you going to spend possession, how much you going to listen, uh, what's your work ethic going to be. Like, those are controllable decisions. You know, so I want to make sure I leave you guys with that, man. Just master those. Because if it's between you and the other guy, that might be the separator right there. You're your character. Oh, okay. just type on your maps, whatever yeah, yeah, the shortest yeah. distance is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Good man. Good man. Appreciate you, coach. Hey, appreciate you, Real, man. man. So, you guys for experiences, uh, man. For sure, for sure, for sure. Remember, remember, bother him to bring y'all back so y'all can play oh. some open run. Hey. <laughs> hey, man. Love, hey, man. Love, 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 love. Right on there for sure. I'm trying to get you. That's a blessing. <laughs>
say for me, for me. I know God got a plan for me, for me. God got a plan for me. I understand. Lift up these mortal hands. Take your time. Rest it, good. Good jump stop. Get a good jump stop. Line on two feet. You're dunking. Attack him, attack him, attack him. There we go. That's how it makes it passes. Front. It's mid range. Oh, that's mid range. Easier. Yeah.
plan for me. Yes, he does. I know God. I know God got a plan. See guys smile, eat, laugh, joke, cry, whatever it takes, right? The game of basketball brings it out of it. Now it's a beautiful thing to be here in Chicago starting at LaSalle High School on 35th of Michigan, where I played for three years and not trying to went on to college. And I, I played basketball at SIU University. And then I transferred to the University of Illinois, which I was a red shirt. Flying on line eye, which is Kimber Gills, D. Bardo, Nick Anderson, and all the greats from Chicago, which we all went to the final four. Then. So I wind up going traveling and going abroad to play basketball in Spain in the second division, in which it was a great experience because here I was a young African American man coming out of Chicago from the South Side, getting a chance to go to Spain. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. best experiences as well. And I came back home, unfortunately I wasn't able to get back because I missed the phone call. Back in those days we didn't have the automated phone, we had the answer machine. So if you didn't check the answer machine, you missed the call. So I missed the call. But fortunately, I got a chance to be the exclusive stand-in body double for Michael Jordan. That light with one of the, with, with the goat mm -hmm. representing him in commercials from 1995 to 1999, and it showed me the life of basketball outside the basketball. Oh, yeah, Always up, uh, never like all this building sports, student athletes. I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you, man, again. Appreciate the tour. Yeah.